2022 turned out to be another bumper year on the bike. I discovered a bunch of new riding spots here in Switzerland, made some more progress in my riding, and even managed to squeeze in two trips abroad. I really couldn't ask for more. Unlike this year, last year started off much more wintry. I did manage to get one ride in on my local trails in January, but before long, biking just gave way to skiing and snowboarding. There was, however, one biking highlight that the snow was never going to stop. Oh! Snow bike night ride in Vumsberg, which is clearly an absolutely bonkers idea. Oh! An experience for sure, oh! Oh! but probably not one I need to repeat. Biking season proper though started in March with a trip to Ticino in the south of Switzerland with Rob, Sabrina, Stefan and Janine, where we managed to escape the worst of the snow, ride one of my favourite trails, hey. and discover a fantastic riding area. Wow, it's like a sea of leaves. Served by a tiny little cable car in Lumino. This trip was the perfect opening to the season and we intend to repeat it in one form or other again this March. But really, it was actually just a warm-up. My first trip abroad in April with Sabrina, Rob, David and Alex to Ainsa in Spain, where we put ourselves in the very capable hands of the guys at Basque MTV. Having ridden a few trails there before, I had high hopes for Ainsa, and I think I can safely say it didn't disappoint. This really is the perfect off-season riding destination. The trails were sensational. And after all the climbing we did, my fitness was right where I wanted it to be. The rest of April and May were all about finding and riding new trails with Christoph, and boy did we ride some corkers. First of all there was the Bogman Super Trail, which proved to be so much better than we'd been expecting. A 1000 metre descent of single track perfection. Then we rode the Rigitze Spitz near Badregards for the first time, which we quickly discovered was not for the faint hearted. Wow! Especially in the damp conditions we had. <laughs> Make sure you watch out for this trail on the channel in the coming year, because I think we've got some unfinished business on that hill. Whoa! Go for it, buddy! You got it! Get in. Possibly the best find of the year though came in June, when my friend Sarah took me to check out the Hörronen trails near Schindelegi. Wow, I was simply blown away. I couldn't believe that I had never heard of these trails. Technical riding paradise just 20 minutes from where I work. Suffice to say, more visits were made and I even found more trails on the hill, which I hope to bring you in the channel later this year. The end of June and July were all about the bike parks in Lenzerheide and Hoor. It was a good year for park riding. I was up to speed much quicker than ever before, and even if I didn't manage to conquer all of my demons, I did tick off a couple of new features. August was a massive biking month for me last year. First of all, I went on my road trip to the UK, where I got to ride Hopton Woods, near where my mum lives, and two amazing bike parks in Wales, Revolution and Dovey. I also caught up with my friend Christian, the electric mountain biker, and checked out his home trails near Manchester, with all their moving obstacles. Woo! 
before finishing off with a visit to Jamie from Street Pigeon MTB who expertly guided me around some of the best riding in an unseasonably warm Tweed Valley in Scotland, including an EWS stage I hope to get round to editing very soon. Then, at the end of August, I participated in my first ever mountain biking competition with my buddy Jan Marco, the Grisha trail ride in Arosa, Lenza Haida, the horse. 18 hours of pure alpine mountain biking action spread over three days. A truly unforgettable experience that I can thoroughly recommend. If you're interested, registrations are already open for this year. Check out the link in the description. September and October were fairly quiet biking months last year, but I did manage to get in a very late trip to the Bike Kingdom in October with Christoph, where we found the widest mix of conditions I think I have ever seen in a single day. Normally, the season here in Switzerland would have been winding down to a close in November, but luckily for us, the weather held on just long enough the first ever Swiss YouTuber ride, where I got to meet some of the other faces behind all those YouTube videos I watch, as well as ride some pretty spectacular trails down from the Fürhörnli in the Mitteberg just outside Tour. We had a very mild autumn last year, but eventually winter did arrive and a really cold snap in December delivered probably some of the best <laughs> snow riding conditions I have ever experienced. And there was still the chance to check out the skills park in Vintertor and start working on those jumping skills ready for next season. So that was 2022. Thank you to everyone that supported me on this journey, whether you've ridden with me, encouraged me in the comments, or just watched and liked my videos. I appreciate you all. Anyway, I guess all that remains to be said is, thanks for coming along, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Oh, guys, danke, you're so cool. Oh, super.